This is probably going to be a very high testosterone workout because we just pulled up to Pure Muslim Fitness. It's a Saturday, and because it's a Saturday, we are hitting a squad arm workout. What's going on, guys? Brandon Hyden here. We'll be having a great day. It is the 19th of February, and we literally go back to the UK in three days' time. These seagulls are just... Today's been a pretty busy day so far, that's why we are coming to the gym about 5.30, usually work out a little bit earlier than this. But the arm workout today is going to be hit with a squad of people, myself, my friend Asher, Devin. Devin is known for having the thickest, girthiest arms I've ever seen in my life. You'll see why in a little bit. So if you're excited for this video, please drop a like, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, it really helps the channel grow. And let's go into the gym and drink a pre-workout and get shit started. I just take to Asher to come and open the back door for me because there's no parking at the front. This door is always locked and it's absolutely freezing. So come on, bro. It's literally snowing right now. Like yesterday it was fine and then woke up this morning it was just covered in snow. Hey, oh, how you doing, man? Good. Cheers, man. Freezing. How long did you wait for? Like 30 Half minutes? an hour. And he's still talking to someone. <laughs> I can hardly talk because I'm never on time. I've been drinking my pre-workout. It's almost finished. I feel like I've just lost my pump standing here. I ain't even started. Devin. 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 <laughs> 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> what's going on, bro? Yeah, bro. What's going on? I'm Brand Hopper, bro. I'm like sponsored. Like, BQ. Freelance. Raw. He's that Adidas and Nike yeah, guy. Bro. Who are you trying to be with? Because I'm pretty much... Look at that. One more time. We're starting the workout off, isn't it? One more time. I just drank my pre-workout, I know. It. I can't, she can't have the camera right now. She's got a boob done, so we're gonna pick an exercise each. Everyone always starts arms with cable, so we're gonna start with the dumbbells, we're gonna do a bicep, tricep, superset, get, get some blood in the muscle. Okay, oh, so a superset. Super set. I like that. Yeah, I've been going for more for the pumpy set. Stretch the fascia. Okay. Yo, has everybody got tanks on underneath their pump covers? Do you wanna know why I got a t-shirt on? My girlfriend just got her boobs done. I've had no one to shave my back for me, so my back's really hairy. <laughs> Guy's got a hairy back. So I'm not wearing a tank. Why would it take you for a hairy back guy? I was growing chest hair at 13. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Dude. What? My chest, every single follicle has a hair coming out of it. So she shaves your back, eh? You can do my lats and my, like, the, the top a bit, but the mid back, no. You gotta get the laser hair removal for that shit. That would cost so much. My back is massive. Nah. I looked into it just for like my shins, even. Even yeah. when you're not competing. Yeah, even then, yeah. Maybe right. <laughs> forearms as well. No, no, no. <laughs> I do trim under my armpit a little bit, because there's nothing worse than when you do like a double bicep. A sweaty arm. Armpit with black hair isn't cool. Pump covers coming off. I've never felt so alive in my life. Cause you make me come to life every time. I'm free. Oh, and I'm loving all that you do. Can't you see? I'm crushing right into you. Hair doesn't even move an inch. What's that? The hair doesn't move, eh? No matter how much you sweat. Even though it's falling out a little bit, it still stays. Jeez, man. What the f is this? Oh, it's Adobe. <laughs> it's Adobe Photoshop on a, on a video. <laughs> Premier Pro leveled up. Yeah, nice. Everyone's wearing t shirts on arm day. <sighs> nah, I'm I got a pump pump underneath. Don't, don't get defensive. You know? I got a stringer, I promise. <laughs> so you should have double the pump when you take that one off. Then. Whoa. Just Photoshop this shit, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> It's like an ab workout, bro. I think this guy was doing the full stack. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic physique weight, hard body. We said it three times. Next time I'll say it in Arabic for you. <laughs> Brandon's friend from Dubai, cancel Devin. Do not let him go to Dubai. <laughs> if Asha receives a decent pump in this workout, it's only because Devin's pissing Asher off that much yeah, that his yeah. blood is boiling and it's going straight to his arms. <laughs> That's why like, when I'm on prep, I don't even turn here because I just can't, can't tolerate him at all. This guy avoids everybody on prep. <laughs> 
whatever's happening in the world, right? Like all the fuck. I mean, do you think someone's controlling that or is it all science? I think Trudeau controls that. You don't think so? No, I think so. You think so? You don't, right? No. Oh. Aliens made us. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll just say Christian. I think Jesus exists. No, I'm on the same boat as you. Like, I'm not really religious. Like, I believe there's a higher power. Like, there's so much you don't know. Like, I couldn't say I believe in, like, all the shit that's out there. Fuck. Aliens have sex with monkeys and that's how humans came. Oh, yeah. 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 It's difficult because I would like to believe in afterlife. I would like to believe you can choose to go to an afterlife, but I would, I would also like to believe that there is reincarnation that people have lived before, but not everyone. Imagine this, right? So, you know when people say they die and then they see the light? What if that's the light of the hospital room when you're coming out of a woman's yeah, vagina? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the reason that there's a, a death at birth is because the soul, someone's dead, but wasn't meant to. Yeah. So it was like resuscitated. And then that fetus isn't needed, so the soul goes back into the original body. I always thought of the first half, yeah, I thought yeah. second half. I kind of feel like you reincarnate if your soul's purpose wasn't met. So you gotta okay. do it again. But you didn't do what you, you were meant do, to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, do yeah. it until you finally get it right the perfect time. And then you live in like harmony forever, just like yeah. just an energy, just f around. And then so many in Avatar where the people are connected, tree of life, and everyone's one. Who knows, man? You've done shrooms, bro. I have not. That's <laughs> Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, so what's the secret, bro? You gotta choose the right parents, bro. I chose them right, man. When I was going through the reincarnation cycle, I was like, those two. When I always say in videos and stuff, like, when people say, bro, you're gonna win this show, you're gonna win this show, and I'm just like, oh, it's like, I feel like I have, like, just above average genetics, but not, like, premium genetics, and that's because of guys like this. Imagine if, like, every muscle in your body had Devin's arm genetics. You'd be like Phil Heath. That is what Phil Heath is. Yeah, pretty much. He's like he's like everybody's best body part, except that's like his whole body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad, because I don't want to make anyone else feel like theirs are even worse than mine. Yeah. This is bad genetics. Yeah, this, bad, bad. this is bad genetics. This is the worst arm genetics ever, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Definitely chose the wrong parents, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Quick disclaimer, there's no such thing as the wrong parents. We're only joking, but seriously, though. Genetics play a big part. Got to like pinch the nipples so they don't look yeah. like a gyna. I know. You got diamond? Today, eh? Yeah, right. Because like when you wear a f***ing white t-shirt, yeah. if you got any gyno, you can like see it. Brandon, show them a trick. So yes. basically, if you got gyno, if you don't want gyno, just yeah, do that right there, and then you'll be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got gyno yet. I've not really pushed the test so hard. One time I took NPP. You know Nandrolone? Yeah, NPP, you know that. Yeah, yeah NPP. Yeah, yeah. I took that and got gyno for like six weeks. When you do bicep curls, what do you think about? I kind of just empty space in my head when I do curls. I go for like a PR, like a deadlift or something. Yeah. I think like dark shit. Like my house on fire, pill pillar fell on my mom. This is how Devin really gets a pump. He just like ups his test by talking to girls. Pump gets a lot better. All right, so how was the pump? Unreal, man. Unreal. Juicy. I'm just trying to be like you, so I feel like I needed to work out with you before yeah, I left. Yeah. Me and Devin have been meaning to work out together like so much, like over the past like couple months we've been here. But I literally leave in like three days and we just about got it in. We slipped it in there. It's good we got it in before you left. The 30 minutes wait, right? Right? Man, tell me 5.30, dog. It's starting to make sense why Jordy hates my time management skills. It resembles this guy just Dude, a little I'm, bit. I'm always late. Workout has finished right now. We're going to head back. We need to drop Jordy off to Maria's place because she can't actually still drive yet. I'm essentially driving Jordy everywhere right now because she can't turn a steering wheel because of her boob job. So we're going to drop her at Maria's and then we're going to meet the boys at this place for sushi. It's apparently pretty good. And sushi is, of course, the most anabolic post-workout meal. All right, boys. Just pulled up at the sushi place. It's called KMB. It's real close where Jordy lives about. 10 minute drive quickly dropped Jordy off got changed real quick out of the sweaty t-shirt I was in and into the fresh hard body hoodie this one is the navy color dropping on the 28th of February there's gonna be a black one and then part two of the season one drop there's gonna be another surprise color as well it's a whole season drop part one and part two and it is dropping in literally a week's time first ever hard body clothing drop any support on that launch is gonna massively massively help me if you guys mess with the clothing it's gonna mean a lot to me and set us up for a sick future <laughs> 
Alright, what's good? What's going on? I'm gonna yeah. guess my cousin. So we ordered the first round, but just add stuff in order if you want. You, you yeah. ordered Oh, I got you this, bro. Here. Man. We get post workout cars and protein. <laughs> the boys have been top guys, already ordered. So there's loads come in and they're just like, take whatever you want, take whatever. I don't have to wait. This is good service. Feed the arms because it was a pretty good arm workout. All the protein, carbs, and fat. So yeah, I'm gonna eat. So just run downstairs because I'm actually out of breath right now because we've just been packing. I'm about to leave. I'm going back to the UK. It's like literally two days in the future right now since the last clip you saw. Been packing, spending time with Geordie, preparing everything for all. Obviously, the launch I've been talking about for Hard Body. Tom over in Canada. Been here for like three months. Got here December 1st and it is now the 22nd of February and we're leaving. We'll be arriving in the UK tomorrow morning. So we'll start a whole fresh day. So probably when you see me again, I'll literally be in the UK. I just left Geordie a little secret note that she'll read like when she comes downstairs and I'm gone, obviously. Excuse the handwriting, it's freaking terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna hide it right there. So she'll see it when I text her. We got one suitcase here, another suitcase here. We've actually sent two home as well because one's full of equipment, not this one, the one I sent off. And another one was full of like hoodies and shoes and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna turn these off, take these upstairs, and yeah. Right here, we've got the hard body duffel bag all packed and ready to take with me on the flight. And right here is something pretty special because in the last video I spoke about a giveaway. Anyone that used code Hardbody for the Alphalete birthday was gonna win, well, be in for a chance to win everything that is in this box, which is pretty much yeah, pretty much the entire drop. It's a heavy box, it's gonna be expensive to send, but one person will have actually already been sent this because I'm announcing it on Instagram, but next time, if you want to be in for a chance to win anything, code Hardbody for Alpha Elite is the one. The single winner has been picked to win all the Alpha Elite, and the other three winners have been picked as well to win the three $100 Alpha Elite gift cards. Code Hardbody is literally the best code in the world because it's probably the only code you really get anything from if you use it, or if not, you should still use it anyway. We are literally about to leave and go to the airport, so. Yeah, move that forward slightly first. Oh God, I'm orchestrating, okay? Do you need the bag to go in there? It's in the back trunk, oh my goodness. Is it gonna fit in there? <laughs> yes. Bye bye. I see you soon. Jordy's not coming back with me. Jordy's staying a week longer to spend time with friends and family and stuff. So I'll be in the UK by myself for a little bit, but. Loser. I'll be back in the summer. You're a loner. I will be. Yeah. I got, no. I got work to do. All right, so here. We go home, sweet home. Oh my God, we're back. It feels weird to be like vlogging again, like in this space with like this background and stuff. Cause like just, it's been so long. I've been in Canada like three months, but we are back. It wasn't actually a bad journey back home. The flight for some reason was five hours and 50 minutes when it was meant to be seven. I don't know. It was traveling with the wind apparently. Got picked up straight from the airport, got a driver because apparently the train situation in the UK because all the winds we've been experiencing have been terrible and some of the trains aren't working. So I didn't want to play my luck. Straight to the door with the bags, absolutely ideal. And now we're back. So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I know it's been like kind of random with everything that's happened. There's been like a few days in between the beginning and the end of this video. And there's not really much more I can do right now other than one unpack, which I'm not gonna do because I have to get the train up to Birmingham to go and pick up my car because my mother has been looking after my car while I've been away for three months. Couldn't expect her to drive it back down here, even though she picked it up, probably should have dropped it back, but I don't mind going up because it's an excuse to go up and see family because it has been so long since I've seen everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash a like, do me a favor, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you haven't already, get ready for the hard body clothing drop that is on the 28th of this month, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.